मेरी हिम्मत वाला के दो जो डायलॉग साजिद फराद ने लिखे हैं वो डायलॉग्स शायद कादर खान साहब के हिम्मत वाला से थोड़े ऊपर है अच्छा I thought we'll start the year with the hilarious videos there is little to no activity taking place with respect to movie releases in theaters in January so join me in this quest to find cringe where celebrities have either intentionally or unintentionally created scenarios that have caused for the most awkward situations to be captured in front of camera especially while they're promoting their films with the media if you do not cringe at any moment or get uncomfortable then you are made of metal that is not known to man irrespective getting right into it here is tried and refuse productions with the eight most difficult and awkward bollywood good interviews to go through the jagga jasus promotions in my previous video of the most awkward situations in celebrity interactions with the media i had spoken about the bizarre nature of the chemistry shared between ranbir kapoor and katrina kaif during jagga jasus promotions while everyone would like to believe that co actors are cordial with one another and hence working with each other the animosity between the actors was palpable during the promotions while sometimes it was jabs at one another Kapoor in other instances would barely let Kef answer any questions that were directed specifically towards her. In one of the most hilarious but awkward interview moments with Faridun from Bollywood Hangama, Katrina Kef was asked what is the best quality about Ranbir Kapoor that others don't have and this is what followed as an answer. Um hold on. the pregnant pause i must say <laughs> it is <laughs> well, let's move on to the next yeah, yeah i can't think of anything i mean yeah. i can't think of anything which oh yeah yeah can't think. Whether Katrina Kaif was absolutely trolling or she actually had nothing nice to say, it will always be a mystery. But one thing is for sure, it accounted for awkwardness that would make any onlooker uncomfortable, as if third wheeling when you know your friends are going through a rough patch. The odd one out in the actors' round table. I am a huge fan of the actors' round table of Bollywood. While I don't always agree with the choices, I one day envision myself hosting a similar gig. just putting it out there into the universe irrespective in 2019 when the male actors were invited to the segment on CNIB and hosted by Rajiv Masand the choices were great as it reflected some of the best performances of the year but Akshay Khanna's presence and his personal choice not to indulge in any of the buffoonery accounted for some of the most hilarious but awkward moments taal film mein jo aapne glasses phenke the na that was beautiful उस उस टाइम पे क्या चल रहा था आपके दिमाग पे? इट वाज एज इफ यू वांटेड टू मेक योर सीनियर फ्रॉम स्कूल असिमिलेट इन द सेम सरफेस लेवल कॉन्वर्सेशंस यू हैव विद योर बैचमेट्स बट द सीनियर इज इन द बिन दैट डन दैट मोड कॉन्स्टेंटली वाइल रणवीर सिंह एंड आयुष्मान खुराना गोइंग टू सेवरल टाइम जेंस दैट रियली डजेंट हैव एनीथिंग टू डू विद द एक्टिंग क्राफ्ट Akshay Khanna would restrict himself to monosyllabic replies that he would deem fit as the only justifiable answer. And dil chahta hai your film was oh. in fact the marker oh. for oh. his just that, steady cam shot of that, running, but actually the original yeah. that's land specifically him. While some consider his lack of urge to contribute to silly conversation hilariously admirable, some just want to take a deep dive and understand what he really was thinking about the actors around him causing so much noise. Sara Ali Khan I can't create a video about the awkward interactions that have happened in 2022 and not talk about the Atrangi Ray promotions. It was both a combination of absolutely cringy moments to also admirable ones where it just makes for sequences that are pure gold to be captured in front of camera. People were already tired of the inundation of Sara Ali Khan dancing on Chaka Chak in every place. with anyone and whoever she pleased but the awkwardness took the cake especially when she is standing with akshay kumar doing her hi darshako segment now i request you to try to look waha even though mr kumar yaha raha jo maine kaha While some people find the segment on her social media to be endearing I find it purely irritating at this point what is once hilarious often transitions to become unbearable if done numerous times and this is the case in point with precisely that nothing was more awkward than when Dhanush was asked during the promotions of who he prefers as a co-star between Sonam Kapoor and Sara Ali Khan 
The clarity provided by Dhanush makes for an awkward moment, but the hilarious reactions by Sara almost expecting niceties towards her regarding the same makes for pure awkward TV gold. Who was better to work with, Sonam or Sara? I'll have to say Sonam. Wow, uh, not offensive at all. Jab tak hai Jan promotions. Katrina Kaif makes a return to the series for a really unnecessary moment that even leaves the improv king Shah Rukh Khan speechless. The promotions of the movie were in full swing. Everyone was excited about a Yash Raj directed romantic film, the music of A.R. Rahman and the lyrics of Gulzar. The interesting pairing of SRK with Anushka and Katrina, everyone was weirdly curious, but this interaction where Shah Rukh was asked about his co-stars definitely stood out like a sore thumb as it led to an awkward moment where Katrina felt she was being shortchanged intentionally, almost as if her talent was being discredited. Shah Rukh used one word to describe me, gentle, which has absolutely no relation to acting talent or looks or my career. Uh, used 25 to describe Anushka, so... Um, how was the experience? It was um, good. It was good. While I totally understand this was probably not SRK's intention, it accounts for a very awkward back and forth between the actors while the media just look on for this minor cribbing session to get over. Hardworking is generic. It doesn't speak about you know exactly what you do. Gentle is what. Okay, okay, I, I just say so. No, 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 it's okay. No, 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 an instance from a recently conducted actors roundtable for Netflix really generated some thoughts within me that were not really being discussed online and I thought I'll bring it up in some video or the other. So the only reason I had tuned in for the discussion was because Konkana Sen, Adarsh Gaurav and Tavino were a part of it. It accounted for some hilarious moments but one moment stuck out for me was when Tapsi was asked about the second thoughts that she may have had while saying yes to Haseen Dulruba and why people rejected the role in the first place. One of the reasons that she presented was the character was not likeable and the other reason why the role was being rejected was because the co-actor was not a known face. Going on to say how she doesn't care about the co-actor as the title of the movie is Haseen Dilruba and it is primarily based on the female character. Yeah, I was like, dude, it's Haseen Dilruba. Right. I don't care about who the hero is. The flippant statement almost discredits the very existence of the male actors in the universe and especially Vikrant Massey, who I believe is the very reason why the film was believable and engaging. Konkana Sen later comes to the defense of the actor she has actively worked with, but I found the moment to be interesting as it highlighted also the thought process of actors in considering several aspects for their role or only being concerned about their portrayal. So yeah, so those were the kind of questions that because of which the others didn't work out and thank God for that. And the hero is such a good actor. Salman Khan with Curly Tales Kamiya Jani has a very popular digital show on YouTube called Curly Tales where she interacts with celebrities while eating different cuisines. If you see most of her interactions, she has an organic back and forth with most actors who participate but in an interaction with Salman Khan for Big Boss promotions, it was pretty clear that the actor had no intention of participating in the interview. What is the first thing that you do when you wake up? While Kamiya sports a smile throughout the interaction, Salman replies back with sarcasm and monosyllabic replies that can be a nightmare for any journalist trying to capture a lively interaction. The video is less than 4 minutes long and is still tough to go through. Zindagi na milegi dobara promotions. Another great pairing on screen that in contrast translate into the most awkward media interactions together is the combination of Hrithik Roshan and Katrina Kaif as they promoted their film ZNMD together. Whether it is indicative of their working relationship or just personality is not really accounting for lively conversations, much of their media interactions lead to awkward and left field moments. This moment, however, is a combination of the journalist not really having anything constructive to talk about and the actors giving back the same energy about the famous kiss in the film to the journalist who is just awkward and speechless. This um, long kiss you guys have shared in the movie, any truth to that? Apparently it's Bollywood's longest kiss. I don't know what that means, but... Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, go on, go on. Why are you not, blushing? I'm not, I'm not aware huh. of... Uh, I honestly give props to Hrithik Roshan to give back to the journalist a taste of their own medicine. What? Comfortable doing kissing scene? I am. Yeah? I am. Are you comfortable? No. <laughs> okay. She's not. That's not a compliment, if there was. Uh, I could kiss you right now. Uh, no. <laughs> Thank you very much. No. <laughs> Don't want that. We are a family channel. Quote, unquote. Yeah, but, talk about uh, it, but you can't do it. Uh, no.
Prabhu Chavla returns. I don't think I can make an awkward compilation of interviews and not mention Prabhu Chavla. The absolute rude nature with which he addresses celebrities almost with a condescending tone is really tough to go through. In his interview with Shilpa Shetty a few years ago, he constantly tries to undermine the capability of the actor and for her to acknowledge that she is not successful. Ajigar mein Shahrukh Khan bhi the, Kajol bhi thi. Wo to kahan ke kahan pahunch gaye uske baad. Aap abhi daud mein thodi si Shahrukh Khan ke peeche. Aap baar baar keh rahe hain ki reinvent kiya maine apne aap ko. Reinvent kiya to aapne andar koi kami paayi hogi apne aap mein. Nahi bilkul nahi. Isliye zarurat hai apne sab kuch badalne ka. The badgering carries on terming her as an item girl and even going on to comment on her physical traits. He further goes on to pester her and ask her whether she's done any plastic surgery and the interview just takes a weird and bizarre turn. Aapne koi sharir ka hang aisa jisko badla diyo? Bilkul nahi. I have just done my bit of uh, keeping myself fit. Uh, I I don't know. I don't consider myself uh, good looking, Prabhu ji. मैंने कब मुझे ये गलत समझ नहीं है कि मैं good looking हूँ. You are not a sex bomb like many other actors. And that was the video, guys. Write down in the comments below whether you have some video ideas for our channel. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at Jamie Pants Four. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.